chosen generation We've been called for to show his excellence hey. All I require for life God has given me And I know who I am Hello, good evening and welcome to prison. It's always a beautiful time having you out there. Has the sun been? Because for me it's been so, so, so interesting. And because it's interesting, I've brought you an interesting kind of you know artist you know and she's all artistic this evening brother before you get to discover her well of course you have to know our verse for today and we have to dance a little so before we get to meet the guests of today let's have a jingle when we come back we're going to have the verse of today all I require for life God has given me and I know who I am And our verse for today is taken from the book of John, John 16, verse 33, John 16, 33, get your Bibles, today we're reading from the New International Version, and this is what it says, just get a jota, let's read together, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Let's take it one more time. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. It says it all. You know, God did not promise us a, a trouble-free life, a life of everything free, everything still, you know, you don't have troubles, you don't get to worry. No, they will surely come. Of course, they will surely come, tribulations will come, trials will come, this will come when you want to give up, frustration will come, but you have to take heart, you have to be at peace, you have to rest because the battle is not yours, he has overcome the world, the world has is in his palm so whatever the worries might be, whatever the trials might be, wherever they come from, just get a glass of water, drink, you know, rest, take a picnic, you know, just feel free because, you know, God has it covered. And to let you know this evening that whatever thing you're believing God for, rest assured that he's capable and able to bring it at your doorstep. We're going to have our clip in and today it's from two young Cameroonians full of talent quite vibrant and I love them so much and because I love them I felt like I should bring them to you in this beautiful piece titled it's you I, I it's you I called yes that's how it is titled and it's from Fangji featuring Vicky voice
nation it's you i call my rock of ages and it's so beautiful how you see young people you know who get to love god like this and express it in this kind of way it's not easy to put your talent at work it's wanting to know you are talented it's another thing to decide to share make people share in this talent and get to bless them like this it's a plus for me here uh, fanji vicky voice just keep it up but i have a guest in the house like i said she's all the way from creepy can you imagine <laughs> and uh, we're hoping that she'll bring us fish so that we can share with you people but she's not bring <laughs> so next time you will fish her. i'm talking about a very 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 wonderful gospel artist that you are going to discover just in case you don't know her because i know she's somebody who is popular yeah but in case you don't know her she's a gospel minister she's a designer she's a leader let me put it that way she's a leader a great one at that in the, even at the level of a national at the national level she's a great leader and she's doing gospel music let me introduce for the abek ladies and gentlemen let's let's welcome she wrote a <laughs> and welcome Mildred Kuala, aka Super. <laughs> and it's a super evening for us all. Sure. She's looking great, right? Oh, thank uh -huh. you, you. All the way in the Vamenda Regalia. Sure. So we'll just drop this one for all before she leaves. Not be so. <laughs> <laughs> so how was it? How was it coming here over to Douala? Yeah, it was easy to get to Douala because Krivi is not very far from Douala. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's good to be on this great platform and you're looking so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> I'm shy now. Oh thank God. you, thank you. So how have you been? How has it been, you know, moving from working as, you know, a designer, a gospel artist, and you're the national... Uh, the Cameroon National, national Youth Council. Council. Yeah, all this all together. How does it work? Okay, it's just about passion yeah. and naturally women naturally multitask mm. and you find that aspect of you, you can easily go around and for the cameroon national youth council i was in the last because they have a term of office three years uh -huh. and so uh this is another term of office my tenure expired already <laughs> so um about designing i've always loved to be a model and a designer mm. But for some reason, the modeling aspect didn't really go through, and I'm fulfilling that even in when you see my pictures. Yeah, or picture, <laughs> quite photo nice. shoot. Yeah, I have to just, I have to just pose and fulfill yeah. that dream inside music, and the leadership. I want to say uh, it's a grace of God, and yeah. I'm just a natural leader, and I flow like that. Wow. It's so beautiful. At least I'm fulfilled that we at least we have a gospel artist that does something out of music. Sure. You know, it's it's high time we get to realize that as artists, as an artist, you need a side hustle. Sure. Because <laughs> the reality <laughs> on ground, eh, it's real. Sure. And before you start blaming witches and wizards and pastors will not support you. You should know that eh, we're in Cameroon. And the reality is that you can't live from gospel music. Sure. That's the truth. So you find something to do and you do it. You have 13 songs. Yes. But why is it that we are yet to discover you after such a very long walk in the gospel milieu? Number one, the gospel music is the, the new wave mm -hmm. is still gaining ground because we have been used to with the wave that came from Nigeria that okay. Elizabeth Tekes, they took over. Mm -hmm. And Elizabeth Teke and some other names have been the major names they know in Cameroon. And we happen to have launched during the crisis period in Bamenda. Mm. So it hasn't been a very smooth ride. I had to leave from Bamenda to Kribi, trying to switch, find your feet on the ground. And I left Bamenda just when I, I launched. Mm -hmm. And I did an official launching in Bamenda and in Yaoundé. So people got to get the CDs. Mm. So I started getting an online presence around uh, 2020, that's last year, and yeah. that's why people are getting to... The face is not new in Bamenda, mm -hmm. it's getting new in other Region. uh, regions. Yeah. That, wow, wow. It, it was a good idea going on social media. Sure. It's, it's, it's the global village. 
Sure. That's how it's called. We, where you meet every and everyone on it. it, it makes your audience even larger. That's true. So that means the main hindrance of you not having your songs go through other regions is just because of the transfer. The transfer and also sometimes the means. Okay. Sometimes the means. It's not every platform that will really open their doors to you like you've done, and that's why I'm grateful. And sometimes I'm an independent artist and yeah. I'm not under any label. No manager. I'm sure, yes, no manager. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, um, it's this year that I had uh, a faithful fan base that have been really supportive, and I'm saying cuckoo to every for super. And so you have to look for the money, mm -hmm. you go do the recording, and you, you get a video shoot, the photo shoot is on you, the publicity is on you, yeah. you have to make those connections, and that's what a manager should do. So it hasn't been easy, and you have to get money from the other business that I'm running, and you plow into this one, and for now, we can't really boast that we are selling. Mm -hmm that we are selling so you just plow in just to get people get to know about you and all that so that's what is a little bit challenging wow but what's been a hindrance of you not having a manager or a record level is it a personal decision just to operate on your own or is it that an opportunity or someone has to work towards you for that particular aspect I've had a series of proposals and anyone watching, I want to advise you, before you sign any music deal, get a lawyer. Oh, sure. that's deep now. <laughs> <laughs> so I've had proposals and uh, some of those people were mounting pressure, oh, this is a good deal, just sign, you won't regret it and things like that. But for some reason, I was cool and I was like, I need to get a lawyer. Let, um, if you read anthropology like me, you get to mm. see a, 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 a deal like that one. You just read it at the... Like a literature yeah. student, you understand nothing. Nothing. So one of those contracts, a lawyer read it to me, and I was like, oh, oh, oh this is not what I want. Mm -hmm. So I, I would love to be under a label, but the label should be worth it. For gospel labels, uh, I think I really need to. I really need to be convinced to be under a label for now. There, there is a label that is doing well, a blaze label, yeah. And, yeah. But there are no many to write them about for now. And sometimes it could be challenging to be under a level that does not have understanding on how gospel music operates. Yeah. So that's a major challenge. Wow. It's not easy. It's not, it's not easy because I've had so many people do that. I think we've had a debate here. Sure. And it was, oh, -ho. <laughs> <laughs> we felt like we should do that program for it because we found out that at some point we feel like the record level is a hindrance sure. to the artist. Sure. sure. Sometimes. Because you, you don't have time or you don't look at your contract well and you just, you sign. just sign. And then now they start give you the realities of that contract. Sure. And you're like, this is not really what I said. <laughs> oh, but you signed it. You signed it. I <laughs> want you sign it. That's that. And that's that. That's that. So I, I really, really, really got really interested when you said, if you want to sign get a, a lawyer deal, get a lawyer. So now the, the fight will not be between you now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, your record level will be between the lawyer and the record level. It's very, very important. There is this aspect of platforms that keeps popping up okay. all the time. I think last time we had a, 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 a little worry with one of the artists who got to launch her, okay. her, her, her CDs or maybe her music. Okay. We were finding it very difficult to access it because the platform was really... Let's say people were not familiar with it. Okay, okay. So I understand. How do you feel? How do you think that such problem should be tackled, so that we get to have maybe uh, artists benefit from their music okay. when they put it online? Uh, talking about e-commerce sales online. Yeah. Uh, the latest release I did, I contacted some platforms to put my songs on their. On their platform i will not mention the names and you want to sell a a song for 500 francs and the the platform is asking for 25 percent some wow. are asking for 30 percent so at the end of the day what do you get <laughs> what do you get like seriously so at some point i was like i just wrote on my status i was like okay if you want my song just uh 
the audio, not yeah. the, just write to me and I'm going to send you the song on WhatsApp and you, you momo me. <laughs> <laughs> one on one sales. <laughs> <laughs> one on one sales, but, but that's so minimal. Not everybody is on your status. But then I think people should create more platforms. Like somebody just uh, created a platform, Ikeke Music, um, and she's going for 15%. I think that's a bit fair. Mm -hmm. Just imagine somebody would do the work and just put on your platform and you're getting 30 to 25 to 30%. It's not fair on the artist. And a lot of uh, Cameroonians are still getting familiar about uh, with purchasing online. Online. So, and now CDs are going out. I don't think you have a CD player in your house. Like, I seriously? Don't. <laughs> I don't know when last we ever had that in the house. So, when I did my launching, I made some sales there because I sold flash drives, yeah. USB keys, yes. So if you're doing your, your release, you should sell USB keys and those who are abroad, you can introduce them to literally go and click on every step, click on every step. Okay, when you get to this platform, this is what you do. You click on this uh, icon, you click to this other icon, and this is how you purchase. If you just tell them, okay, go maybe on Spotify, go maybe on this platform, mm, no, they will not know. Free. Yes, or maybe they will not know how to go about it. Because at times when I see the releases, the, you will have something like, go on Amazon, go on Spotify. Those big names. Go on, you know, <laughs> iTunes. I'm like, whoa! I mean, when I go there, I just go and click that music download. Then you go on a hall. Oh, say, they say, say credit card. <laughs> credit card. Ah, it's <laughs> credit card. Would, would or not ATM do. card, whatever. What happened now? Card. You get it. So at times, like you said, artists should clearly explain to their audience how they can get sure. themselves, especially online. Sure. Especially online. It's very, it's very, very important. I find it very difficult to get songs because YouTube now is not only the only means via which you can get songs. That's true. Especially audio. True. true. Especially audio. At times, I used to, would used to go to VidMate. I copied the link. I go okay. to VidMate, convert it. Okay, okay, okay. Now convert the video to audio in order to get the song. Mm, okay, it's, I see. It's quite a really a process. long process for me. So okay. I think that, that that statement you made is really a really wonderful one. So now there is this song you've done with the Chapitre Saint Solid Rock. I think that's your latest Solid release. Rock. That's the latest release. We release on the eighth of this month. That's my birthday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Happy belated birthday. I tell you, Solid Rock and I think that's how I got to discover you wow. because it was really everywhere, everywhere. So tell me, why Chapitre was saying? Chapitre is saying is uh, one of the main names in the gospel, the gospel rap world in Cameroon. Okay. Chapitre is saying is very humble. And in case people don't know, there are some artists you approach them for a featuring or a, a collab, but you have to pay them. Oh, <laughs> serious matter. <laughs> so either you pay, uh, either you pay upfront, or you will go for a 50-50 deal. Wow. For example, you share the sales at the end. And so for Shapi to sing, it was free, and he recorded the song. He's the uh, um, owner of city hill music okay so he produced the song and we did the shooting so shout out to shapi to saying it was supposed to be here yeah i suppose <laughs> i was hoping you know when i came for you i was hoping that you're going to get because uh, the whole the whole thing came people were like why are the two of you what the two of you but wow, what's that you people look good together blah, blah, blah. Like, i was like ah what's that for you yeah. oh my god <laughs> i was like this is a couple kind of something shout out to you shapi to saying that was sure. so wonderful and uh, before you tell us about how the song came about, we're going to have to view it. And uh, let me allow my viewers to serve for this beautiful piece. It is titled uh, Solid Rock and it's by uh, Super uh, featuring Chapitre 5. City Hill Music. Yeah! So be bigger, y'all. Chapitre 5 on this one. Yeah, Super! I'm standing on the rock, yes, yeah, she is a rock. I'm gonna make it. Yes, yeah, you got my back. How can I be stopped? Yes, I'm making it. Standing on the rock, yes, yeah, she is a rock. I'm gonna make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shame. Yeshua is 
my gain, I rest all on my stain I'm lifting up my gaze from where come in my help My help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth I've been through all the Lord, but it's always been my Lord My Alpha, Omega, my Mecca, my Butler, my Shama, my Banna My Lifter, my Keeper, not enough to stop me Not enough to break me No mountain too high for me for me, I'm a winner, I know the lose, that's why I'm standing, standing, I'm standing on the rock, yes she is a rock, I'm gonna make it, yes she got my back, how can I be stopped, yes I'm making, standing on the rock, yes she is a rock, yeah. I'm gonna make it, so the picker y'all, yeah, 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 to break the unbreakable rock to get to me Flame me arrows back at y'all pharaohs when you aim at me Rest in peace Like Undertaker wrote this masterpiece Wishing for peace Only to find you were down in your knees Yeshua is a dose who trust in him a solid rock But to the unbelieving he's nothing more than a stumbling block He shed his blood A wise mind would look up to the cross And give up his authority to rest in the arms of his love For high shop Men and the one of paraman For quad ele pas que c'est de paix Salon se mombom for make that that thing be the bad So today they want to have man some kind of cat When man can lay on top the rock We'll get along there for sure the strap Man a priest no, king no No be wish, man they form no When man come on no dog no feed it back no But yes no, never when I show up You gon' yeah, it's gonna mop no Man a boss for terrain, but it clear no Standing on the rock, yes she is a rock I'm gonna make it Yes she got my back, how can I be stopped? Yes, I'm making it Standing on the rock Yes, she is a rock I'm gonna make it Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, I'm the reason of your energy And it's amazing how I get it at your feet I surrender all, wake up to your call Empowered by the rock on which I stand I draw from the rock of living waters Humbly drain from the living waters Waters Rock of ages clear from me, from me. Let me have my serving Yeah, 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 Yes, right, it's the rock You know I'ma make it yeah, Standing on the rock This way is the power I'ma make it Standing on the rock. <laughs> I've told you that very soon I'll release my own song. Oh my gosh. I'll release my own song. I'm an upcoming rapper. Ah, even she's not supporting me now. I beg. But I'm, I'm really shocked because I didn't see you in the rap field. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> It's good to have that diversity as an artist. Mm -hmm. You could have a, a focus. I'm basically uh, an Afro singer, Afro urban. Yeah. But the hip hop, uh, it's it's good to diversify, and it will shock a lot of people. No song I've had impact, even the views on YouTube like this one. Hmm. And people, not just Christians, have gotten to me like this message has been an encouragement to me. Wow. And had some testimonies like people are listening to hip hop and the words they burst out in to worship and that's what we want wow even though some people think oh, okay <laughs> 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 yeah they really have to because how how do we marry you being a worship leader or an afro singer to being a rapper how 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 did your 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 spell of influence how did they welcome that <laughs> oh, 
a few people got to me and they could literally cry like super you're you're missing the call <laughs> why <laughs> and i was like okay All is right. that you talking or is god that sent you to tell me oh, that no, okay no, no, no. i'm deviating and or to just let someone know i don't write songs mm -hmm. i receive songs yeah in a place of fellowship or prayer i find myself singing and i get a phone and and record and after that i transcribe i could do one or two adjustments here and there so i was asking those people like okay maybe you talk with the source yeah. <laughs> and and it's just a mindset it's not something hot or something cold that makes it praise or worship it mm -hmm. is the lyrics so something can be hot and the lyrics is worship and something can be cold and the lyrics is praise yes. and among the songs we've released solid rock has a very rich lyrics yes and the target we are not singing is true as we sing is to for the church to we lead them to praise and to worship god but the focus is not the church the focus we are shining we are not shining in church we're supposed to shine in the world so it's for us to sing out and somebody should get it out there and like wow i'm interested in this i want to know this your god and that's the focus yes. and solid rock has been doing that yeah you know do you sing in church i do sing in church i've been uh, a leader for a, a very long time so before leaving bamenda i was the I like this zona one. music coordinator for the redeemed christian church of god mm -hmm. northwest mm -hmm. and so you know in redeem Redeem mm. is, is yeah, redeem, you have to tie your hair. So I understand something they don't understand this version of me. And basically in redeem you hardly find people in trousers yeah. except abroad. So even there's been a little switch in my dressing. Mm. And I remember somebody got to me like, please, super, can you change your DP, those trousers? And I'm like, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. It's true, I'm in a church, but I represent a kingdom. Yes. yes it's true if you invite me in a church i find out their dress code if you tie your hair you no know, if you if they don't wear makeup i'm not going to wear makeup i'm going to tie my hair i'm going to do go without jewelry but if i go where there is put your hands up i'm going to put on my trousers and put my <laughs> cap one side and we float and that's it those are various angles and for the same god my god it's it's really you know what we are in a place where first of all rap the rap genre is mm -hmm. trying to get accepted in this milieu. Sure. Then now you get a woman doing it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's, That's double, double one. <laughs> <laughs> it's double problem. It's double, sure. double problems. And I, I think it's high time we get to, you know, accept this particular genre of music. Sure. It's music. Come on. <laughs> and it has the way it ministers to people. Sure. And you might not like rap another person that's what minister to him sure. she so why why complicate matters don't go <laughs> when you see someone that and i think rap is even more difficult than afro sure so i think if you have an artist like that you give them your support instead sure instead give them your support and you can support them but why not download their music get to listen to it if you if you if you know them on facebook write to them give them give them a message of encouragement let them know you you're being blessed by their lyrics and that's what keeps them going sure. you know that's how you support your artists come on ah uh -uh. it's just rap it's not like she's a rapper <laughs> because when I, when I when i saw the music i felt like maybe you're a rapper mm -hmm. i mean <laughs> it's just it's just it's even it even wows me more to know that you are not a rapper yet you excel that good in no. it you know it's 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 difficult to find somebody who's a worshiper call to call and then the next minute you find them just switch down and excel like this sure yeah some people are hardcore or are afro singers some are hardcore are worshipers if you bring them this kind they will not They're be not able it. but i think that makes you even that it makes you the kind of artist to watch out for because tomorrow we might just see you singing Mangambo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I tell you, by, by then, we, we will not be shocked. Yeah, that's true. We will not be shocked because we have seen you coming from different, different angles. angles. <laughs> We're going to have a jingle or we'll come back. We'll get our gospel actualities. And of course, uh, our guest of the day, she's going to tell us the things that she's up to after this her release. All I require for life. God has given me and I know who I am.
And of course, for our gospel actualities today, we have a CBC Champions Arena International that are hosting a program. It's coming up on the 27th of August from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. It's going to be at Champions Arena located at Carrefour a Mumbo Deuxième on top of Soup. Marché Mayu that in Yaoundé and it's hosted by Reverend and Mrs. T.G. Song Fo and uh, the title is Sing Out. Uh, it will have guests like Ashek and uh, it will also have a press the press team Situ de Nation. Of course, if you are in Yaoundé and uh, you reside around Champions Arena, please, uh, it's at a Mumbo try to be there it's going to be a wonderful time with Ashek and the praise team praising God of course and of course from the 1st to the 6th of November we have um, the Congress um, yeah the Congress 2021 hosted by Dr. E. Paul Mwagbo and we'll have guest artists like uh, Pastor Jerry Eze and uh, guests like a uh, Pastor Joshua Selman, he is the general overseer of Koinonia, if you know that name, and he will be here in Cameroon from the 5th to the 6th of November. It will take him place at um, Arena Bonamusa di Douala. Yes, Bonamusa di Douala. So if you're in Douala, turn up, turn up massively from this kingdom takeover. That's the theme kingdom takeover. The L'invasion du royaume, yes, from the sixth to the eighth to the oh, to the from the first to the sixth, rather, and it's going to be here in Douala. So that will take us to the end of gospel actuality for today. Help endeavor to send us your information if you have anything that's coming up in your area. Send us, we'll read it here, we'll show it to people so they can attend your program. So we are back here with our guests. Any projects that are forthcoming after this particular release? After this particular release, um, I'm going to do a little more media tour. Okay. And as a culture, every year on my birthday, which is on the 26th of December. Ah! Uh, <laughs> so there's going to be a release. And this time it's going to be worship, so that my okay. worship people... Mm. <laughs> Let's reconcile. <laughs> so that we can reconcile. <laughs> and so, um, and after that, was it thinking there's a song that came in. It's an Afro-urban song. Okay. And the title is Kolo, Kolo Squat. Mm, I think I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people think I'm exaggerating uh -huh. this uh, kingdom business. So I uh -huh. want to really show that I'm really Kolo for real. So you're going to love the song. So wait for it. La vérité, c'est moi, j'aime quand on, quand on parle de, de, de quelque chose qui bouge ma tête. Parce que j'aime les histoires de colo, là. Tu, tu comprends? <laughs> Donc, on, on, on we will, we will, we will aspire or anticipate this wonderful piece, whatever it's coming from. I, I'm, I personally, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to you, you know, showing us that another version oh, of you. It's good to have Cameroonian artists. Mm -hmm. with that, that diverse, diverse like this yeah. it's really wonderful i really really support it that much and uh, we're going to have um, our small talk small talk of today and today we are we are focusing on we are coming back to that topic rather okay on men of god or congregations supporting they are artists <laughs> yes okay. we are coming back to it we have talked about it uh, some years back okay but i think that it's good to reiterate it because more and more our artists are being pushed into the talks of society some have some have given into peer pressure sure. and others have left their churches sure. of fellowship because of the they don't so much us. pressure. Alors comment est-ce que les pasteurs, comment est-ce que les assemblées peuvent supporter, peuvent ne le supporter à leurs artistes, les artistes qui viennent de la maison en fait, parce qu'il y a des artistes qui sont de la maison qui ont commencé à chanter à, sur, dans la maison, mm -hmm. mais des fois on trouve que ces artistes est fini par quitter l'église 
pas en, en soi disant que peut-être ils ne euh, ils sont pas acceptés, peut-être oui. leur genre de musique ne sont pas acceptés. Nous, voilà, euh, on a eu un corps maintenant oui. de euh, oui. cette musique afro-rap. Oui. Que, que notre artiste il, elle a fait et il y a d'autres églises qui n'acceptent pas ça pas et à, après au après après avoir des pressions souvent l'artiste qui a cette passion de vouloir faire sa musique est fini ou il finit par quitter parce que il trouve que peut-être ailleurs ça peut aller alors aujourd'hui nous sommes en train de parler mais comment est-ce que la congrégation ou l'assemblée comment est-ce que les pasteurs peut Donner de main, un coup de main à leur artiste afin que puissent euh, exceller, euh, maîtriser et fleurir dans leur talent. Mm -hmm. I think that's our topic for okay. today. And if you, if you can speak in French, okay, then you have it in French. Mm -hmm. You're going to try, ça right? Ça sort comme ça sort. <laughs> that's it. Let's go. Je voudrais prendre l'opportunité de remercier tous les hommes de Dieu et tous les, tous les chrétiens qui soutiennent la musique gospel. Mm -hmm. Et je prends l'opportunité de remercier mon père spirituel, l'apôtre Nyangok Pierre, pour tout, pour tout le soutien. Mais je vais prendre aussi l'opportunité de demander que euh, le soutien qu'on nous donne, ça ne suffit pas. Et je vais prendre les cas. Number one, how you treat your artist in your church? Yeah. How you treat your son or your daughter? We say everything in this kingdom is a seed. It's a seed of how they're going to treat them. Imagine, j'étais à Kribi, on m'invite pour un programme. Mm -hmm. Peut-être on m'invite à, à Douala mm -hmm. ou bien à Yaoundé. Et il n'y a pas, on n'a pas pris quelque chose en charge pour qu'elle va dormir ou elle va manger quoi. Mm -hmm. Tu viens seulement, on veut que tu viennes pour chanter. On ne sait pas là où tu as dormi. On ne sait pas, tu vas manger quoi, tu vas voyager comment. Wow. So we are not asking for too much. We're asking for those basic things. At least uh, if somebody should invite your child or your son for a program, you want to know when your son is going to sleep yes. or what they are going to eat. So I think, um, and I don't think they don't know. They know. Because when you permit me, I'm sorry, that's how my father trained me. I, when it's time to say the truth, we say the truth. <laughs> when you invite a minister of the gospel, is a minister of the gospel. We are either ministering in word or in songs. Yes. So tu es chant, so tu es ministère, uh, ministre pour la parole. Nous tous, nous sommes les ministères, les ministres. Donc quand tu invites quelqu'un pour un programme, il y a le, le minimum, c'est de arranger comment la personne va dormir, qu'est-ce qu'il va manger. Et si, il y a les cas où tu peux inviter quelqu'un tu n'as pas les moyens, tu expliques à la personne voilà. qu'est-ce que tu as la famille ici, là où tu peux te loger et on n'a pas quelque chose pour te nourrir ou bien le transport comme ça, quand la personne voyage, la personne sait ce qui les attend mm -hmm. so, um, you invite somebody I was, the, the last program uh, let me not say the last program, I was invited for a program and I asked I expected, I expected they were going to ask me where, uh, to tell me when you get to town, this mm -hmm. is where you're going to be lodged. And a day to the program, nobody told me anything. So <laughs> I called my host. That's embarrassing. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> because that happened many times. So I yeah. called my host. I was like, have you put made provision for my lodging? And they were like, we are sorry. We mm -hmm. didn't make provision. Why are you expecting to come and sleep? So I yeah. sat oh, back in Bermuda, in Bermuda. and I was like, okay. Should I stay back? Because you know, I expect somebody you're doing your program is true, it's for God, but I didn't do the program. I wasn't planning. I have my own work to do. I'm doing for God in my own side. So I still traveled for the program. What I expected was at the end, maybe for conscience sake or for some reason, uh, the host were like, where will you sleep? At the end of the day, they were like, we finish the program. You find your way. God bless you. <laughs> that's, that's temptation. God bless you. <laughs> and it's like, God bless you. I think we should really work on that. And that's what push people now to want to get a middleman or a manager. Mm. And they insist and they start talking that we have become carnal. Oh. That's what push people to like, okay, before you get to me, speak to this person. person. So that they make arrangements yeah. that like, okay. Do you have transportation for him or her? Is, do they have where they're going to sleep? Do they have food? That's so, it's embarrassing for a kingdom like ours that we are supposed to be showing examples to Hello. those in the secular. Et deuxièmement, je voulais demander ici au Cameroun, dans nos répertoires, combien de chansons 
des artistes camerounais. Quand on parle à l'église, tu vas entendre Sinaj, tu vas entendre Ada, Frank Edward. On chante, on chante euh, euh, en Nigeria, Ibo. <rire> Et il y a nos parents qui n'entendent rien. On chante seulement. Et on aimerait, uh, we would like to have songs like What Bikusi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we sing in our mother tongue. Quand tu demandes à quelqu'un que Igwe, c'est qui, on sait déjà que Igwe, c'est le roi. Parce qu'on a trop chanté, on finit par demander que mais le Igwe qu'on chante toujours là, c'est même quoi. <rire> on va nous dire que ok, c'est Igwe. So I think it, the responsibility goes back to those of us artists. Si on m'invite quelque part et je viens, je commence, oh, I'm working in power, I'm working in miracles. Uh -huh. So I should come and I sing my song. And um, if the people are not yet aware, I can take two minutes and like teach one of the songs and we worship with it. So it's not going to be a miracle. You need to take responsibility. I like what Pastor Steve in Hilltop Ministries in Yaoundé said. Say, oh, when I invite you to my church, I expect you to come and sing your songs. If I wanted Frank Edward, I will I'll invite call you. Him. <laughs> so I am begging on the, the choir directors i'm begging on our pastors that please put it like a law in your church that we want cameroon songs and in case <laughs> you don't know cameroon songs there are a couple of artists yeah. that if you want to worship if you want praise you could even write to me on facebook uh, through super and i'm going to give you an endless repertoire honestly hey that et tu n'arrives même pas à le loge. Dans toutes les invitations que j'ai eues, c'est ce seulement une personne qui a demandé. Donc là, <rire> après on ne te paye même pas. Non, on ne te paye pas. Et ils sont en train de dire que ce n'est pas le business. C'est vrai. C'est vrai. Dieu ne nous a pas donné, nous a pas donné un don pour qu'on veut vendre ça. Mais que ton, ton don... Ask to put food on your table. Let, 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 it, let it do something. Even the Bible says your gift to make way for you. This is our own gift that we are doing. We are doing that you, can, you cannot even have peace of mind. The least you can do for an artist is to launch them, is to feed them. Because we have seen that honorarium serve is becoming a do or die affair. Sure. It's becoming very, very difficult. So we will not stop ministering because there is no honorarium. But at least sure. give somebody the courtesy to want to come back to your place by just having given them a place they can lay their heads, a place they can sleep. It's very, very important. Artists are human beings just like you and I. And there's a kind of honor you give someone that they, they, they go extra mile for you. Mm -hmm. They go extra mile for you. They're like, no, I didn't really expect this. But yeah. <laughs> Imagine you invite pour venir chanter, peut-être je quitte Kribi, j'arrive peut-être à Yaoundé vers 14 ou 15 heures, je n'ai pas mangé, et tu veux que je vienne chanter, et l'ancien descend, quelle ancien oh, La famille qui de la famille ou bien <rire> Oh my God Et quand on part pour enregistrer euh, dans les studios, est-ce que tu parles là-bas, tu dis, oh Dieu te bénit mon ah, frère okay. Le non, non, tu que, ma, ma chérie, je n'ai pas construit un bel ancien. On a demandé aussi, mais il y, a le, il y a les artistes qui exagèrent. Uh -huh. On t'évite pour venir chanter, tu te demandes qu'on euh, me donne peut-être euh, 700 000. On, 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 on te connaît seulement dans ton quartier. <rire> on ne connaît même pas. Oui, tu mais demandes 700 000. 7, oui. Et je ne suis pas en train de dire que les cas free for the artists. Les places où tu invites me. Like, I've gone to places, I see the need in the church. The little envelope you give me, I give it back to the church. But uh, each person should take their responsibility. The artist should be responsible, the host should be responsible. If, you're, if you call me, this is basically kingdom. And my father and the Lord have given me strict instructions, which, which are biblical, that you're doing ministry. You put food in your table, but that the goal is not just to make money. Mm -hmm. And so if you invite me, I see, I cannot be coming to a church that the church is growing, they have projects, and you give me some huge envelope, envelope like that. No, I'm going to plow him back. I may give you all or just get my transport and I go. But let the people know that, okay, as you're coming, we don't have lodging for you. Yes. So I know I'm calling up a family member. I was lost somewhere. The way I'm brought up, I can't wake up in a house and just go. I got up and I'm doing dishes and dry clean. I didn't come to, I came to sing, I didn't come to dry clean. Of 
Christ. They say, I call that, okay, finally, where am I lodging? They send me to a family house. If you invite a minister, people want to be in a private place yeah. so that they can pray and come bless you in the program. Oh. Mm. I think we should work. We should work on that. Honestly, sure. we should actually work on that. Please, let's treat our ministers well. If we don't treat them well, who will treat them well? Where do they go and get this treatment? Nowhere. It starts with us. The security sure. starts at home. It begins at home. So please, if you get to have someone for your program, if, if it's not a minister, my God, get to honor them. Sure. There is need for honor. Because you can honor somebody outside, whereas the one in your house is not it's receiving not such yeah. honor. That's why people can come here and insult us. Yeah. yeah. They can come here and insult us and go because we don't even have that, that firmness. They didn't stand and defend. Yeah. You defend on one basis. You, you, haven't, you haven't received that kind of treatment before. Then somebody comes and receives that treatment and it's not satisfied because according to he or she, it's not topping up to. Sure. So, when do I come and start defending? I've never slept in a motel before. <laughs> yeah. I've never gone for a program and, and they, do, they, they, they lodge me somewhere in one nice hotel. So, where will I start defending? <laughs> so, you understand? Please, let's get to encourage our artists. Sure. It's very, very important. We are rounding up for the program for today, but not without having the last word from our guest. So, what's your last word to the audience watching you now? Uh, first of all, I want to appreciate this platform for having me. It's a privilege. I don't and and I don't take it for granted. And I hope to be back. Ah, what was it? <laughs> I wish I would have some. Oh, I'm waiting for it. <laughs> Kolo for sure. And I want to thank you for being that support to the kingdom. There are some people that have been so supportive, and I want to encourage you watching a young talent out there that nobody will know you from your bedroom. Pick up that gift and run with it. You can always start from somewhere. There has never been any excuse like, oh, there's no money. Money will not meet you inside your bedroom. So pick up the gift and run with it. And lastly, I want to still appreciate this platform. <laughs> and I want to thank my beautiful host. Oh, I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. And the technical department, thank you. I'm grateful. You were well come and we are happy to have you here too awesome. she came all the way from creepy like i told you all the way i just had to say mama come and she came can you imagine <laughs> am i not favored i'm really favored and we are all of us even you watching us you are really favored and i know that this favor that is slow here will transfer to wherever you are it's been a lovely program with you out there. Our verse for today was taken from the book of John 16, verse 33. And we have had Fanji, a fit Vicky voice in the title. It's you, I call. It's a beautiful melody. And of course, don't forget to download Solid Rock by a Super City. I like to call it Super, I don't know why. <laughs> fit Chapitre 5. Watch, go on Facebook download and get to write her invite her for your programs of course she will be here and of course treat her well when she comes <laughs> don't forget and listen to other songs she has other songs we have wonderful we have a, a club and Nolo. we have no load there's so many she has 13 of them all in video so you can imagine any how you want it she gives to you back to back so that is it for today we're going to leave you with this beautiful piece again by her and this time around we are going to dance together <laughs> it is titled i clap right yeah i clap and we are going to be clapping the king of kings i clap my hands to the lord i clap my hands to the king of kings i clap my hands to the lord i clap my hands to the king of kings i clap my hands to the lord i clap my hands to the king of kings i clap my hands to the lord i clap my hands to the king of kings i clap my hands to the lord celebrate i clap my hands to the king of kings I clap my hands to the Lord. I clap my hands to the King of Kings. I clap my hands to the Lord. I clap my hands to the King of Kings. Celebrate. I clap my hands to the Lord. He took me out from the Mary Clay. 
get my feet on the road I may not be where I wanna be I'm not where I used to be He's taking me, he's making me That's why I clap my hand That's why I praise his name That's why I lift his name That's why I clap my hands I clap my hands to the king of peace yeah. I clap my hands to the celebrate, I celebrate I clap my hands to the king of peace yeah. I clap my hands to the Lord I clap my hands to the king of peace I clap my hands to the Lord I celebrate I clap my hands to the king of peace I clap my hands to the celebrate, Lord. I celebrate. Cause the leaves are conveyed to my rock. It's taken away my sorrow. I may not be where I wanna be. I'm not where I used to be. He's taking me, he's making me. That's why we praise his name. That's why we clap our hands. That's why we celebrate. That's why we clap, we clap, we clap, we clap our hands. Clap my hands to the Lord. Yeah, I clap my hands to the Lion of the Jam of Judah. Clap my hands to the Lord. I celebrate. Clap my hands to the King of Peace. Yeah, I clap my hands to the Lord. I celebrate. I celebrate. Clap my hands to the King of Peace. I clap my hands to the Lord. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your, put your, put your hands up. I got the father, not a sleeps, no slumber. We got the father who is always there for us. And he's a bishop of my so only one of us. Uh, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You change your nod and don't like you. I can never start to praise and raise your name until I die. You made the heavens, you made the earth. You made everything beautiful, the birds fly. Fresh in your name, that's it. Holly, holly, holly to your holy name. Even the angels in heaven bow down, 24 and 24, and they sing. Holly, holly, holly to your holy name. You are Lord, you are Lord, you are God, you are God. You are El Shaddai, and you are Adonai. That's why I clap my hands. That's why I raise a stain. That's why I clap my hands. That's why I shout. I clap my hands to the King of Kings. I clap my hands to the Lord. Yeah, I clap my hands to the King of Kings. I clap my hands to the Lord. I celebrate, I celebrate. I clap my hands to the King of Kings. Yeah, I clap my hands to the Lord. Yeah, I clap my hands to the King of Kings. Yeah, I clap my hands to the Lord. I clap my hands to the King of Kings. I clap my hands to the Lord. I clap my hands to the King of Kings. I clap my hands to the Lord. I clap my hands to the King of Kings. Put your hands up, put your hands up, put your, 